Hey everyone, this video will highlight my top 24 stocks to buy for 2024. If you're new to my channel, I did a similar video for 2023. Now I can't confirm this, but one of my subscribers recently commented that on average, my picks for 2023 were up 35%. Not bad. You will see some of my top stocks from 2023 make it into 2024. And you will see some new picks added. I've been following the companies I will mention for several years. So these aren't companies that I just stumbled upon. This video will not elaborate very much on each stock. However, I have a deeper analysis on all of the companies mentioned on my channel if you want more information. I also wanted to discuss a few of my macroeconomic predictions for 2024, which provide the foundation for my stock picks in 2024. Notably, I expect the U.S. real GDP in 2024 to be between 1 and 1.4%, supported by a strong job market and employers that are hesitant to let go of employees because of the terrors they faced with shortages in 2021 and 2022. They don't want to visit that again. I expect the central bank in the U.S. to cut interest rates three times for a total of 75 basis points of cuts in 2024. Consumers will continue to spend more than usual on away from home experiences like travel, restaurants, bars, theme parks, concerts, and ball games. However, I do see this trend normalizing by the end of 2024 as appliances, computers, phones, and tablets that were purchased in large quantities in 2020 and 2021 start becoming dated and consumers start to desire to upgrade this technology. The most significant risks to my outlook are an escalation in the wars in Ukraine, Israel, and the attacks in the Red Sea. Inflation is now a distant second place as a risk factor. Supply chains have improved and people have to have returned to work en masse as the pandemic era stimulus programs have faded. Further, companies that have increased prices have started to see consumers decrease buying, signaling that they've reached the limits of their pricing power. So let's take a look at the top stocks to buy for 2024. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, I'm going to show you these top stocks to buy for 2024 in two batches of 12, starting with Starbucks, which trades at a forward price to earnings of 19.67. Starbucks reiterated its excellent growth forecasts for the next couple of years and the company's earnings per share continues to grow at a rate that's more than double its revenue growth rate. eBay is one stock that's made it through from 2023. I like the company's asset light business model and it's trading at a cheap valuation at a forward PE of 9.8. Zoom Video Communications is a company that's retained many of the customers that it attracted during the pandemic, although its profitability has decreased somewhat. Zoom has an excellent balance sheet and is trading at a relatively cheap valuation of 15.69. Chewy, the online pet retailer, has an excellent management team that's improved operations over the years and consumers that adopted pets during the pandemic continue to increase spending on Chewy's platform year after year after year. So the more they stick with Chewy, the more they increase their spending. Nike recently reported a disappointing quarter that brought the stock price down and investors can now get Nike stock at a forward price to earnings of 25. The next quarter is going to be a challenging one as the company restructures, but I think the rest of calendar year 2024 could be solid for Nike as it refreshes its inventory. Meta Platforms was another one of my stocks that I recommended to buy in 2023, and I think it has more room to go. I love the business model. Meta Platforms makes money off its billions of daily active users as they create all the content and they create all the engagement. Meta Platforms just make sure that the site is up and running and 
ensures safety and security. Advanced micro devices, I think, is projected to have an excellent year in 2024 as it ramps up its capabilities in AI and grows to challenge NVIDIA. Also, one of the trends that I mentioned in the beginning of this video is going to help AMD, and that's a resurgence of growth in PC sales for 2024. Snap is the most expensive stock I'm recommending here at a forward price to earnings of 106, but Snap has made significant improvements on the efficiency of the company. It's adjusting to those changes that Apple made in 2021-2022 that hurt the company significantly. It's now ready to bounce back and it's demonstrated that it can grow earnings and cash flow much faster than it can grow revenue. Coca-Cola trading at a forward price to earnings of 20.92 is going to benefit from the other trend that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. People continue to want to go out and spend money at restaurants, theme parks, concerts, movie theaters, etc., etc. Coca-Cola has a strong market share at those establishments. Pay attention yourself. When you go out to a restaurant, it's most likely that they offer Coca-Cola and not Pepsi. The Home Depot trading at a forward price to earnings of 22. Home Depot management has said one of the primary reasons people go to spend money on home improvement is when they see their home prices rise. Home prices are up significantly since 2019. People will continue to want to upgrade their homes because they don't want to sell. There aren't too many homes available to buy, and so they're going to be forced to upgrade their homes if they want something different, an extra room, an office, whatever it might be. Six Flags Entertainment Corp. trading at a forward price to earnings of 12.3. Again, benefiting from that away from home trend and trading at an attractive valuation. Most of the money the company needed to spend has already been spent. And so now as consumers go and visit those theme parks, the company benefits from all those investments it's made 10, 15, 20 years ago. Salesforce selling at a price to earnings of 27.9 will benefit as business grows, as the economy grows, and more enterprises look to Salesforce to optimize their customer relationship management services. The next batch of 12 stocks starts with the Walt Disney Company trading at a forward price to earnings of 17.04. Again, benefiting from that away from home trend, but also the Walt Disney Company has made significant cost cuts in 2023, which will reap benefits from in 2024. And management has said 2024 will be the year when it will finally reach profitability in its streaming services. Alphabet trading at a forward PE of 21, the dominant player in the advertising industry, which will grow to over 900 billion in 2024. NVIDIA, what else can I say about NVIDIA that hasn't already been said? The company was the primary beneficiary of the AI trend in 2023. And given the AI market is expected to grow by nearly 5x over the next seven years, NVIDIA has more room to go. Visa trading at a forward price to earnings of 23.16 is the most profitable company of any of the companies that I follow. And I follow a lot of companies and I have done so for several years. Visa is a tremendously profitable company. It has spent decades building its network of merchants and consumers, and now it's reaping the benefits of those investments. I like this company long term. PayPal is an interesting one that's made it through from 2023. It's trading at a forward PE of 11, but this stock has been cheap for a long time. There are risks and there are reasons why PayPal is cheap. But I still believe that the risk versus reward is worthwhile for PayPal and PayPal stock investors. Fortinet trading at a forward price to earnings of 35 will benefit from the growth in cybersecurity, cybersecurity spending, which is becoming more of a necessity and less of a nice to have. 
Fiverr International trading at a forward PE of 12.07 will benefit from the convenience businesses have in hiring tasks instead of hiring individuals. It's difficult to onboard an individual full time. It's easier to hire tasks and easier to hire people to do one or two things than it is to hire somebody full time. And if you like what that person has done, you can hire that person full time. So it de-risks the hiring process for businesses. And I think that trend has a long way to go. Fiverr does have competition, but I think the valuation at a forward PE of 12 is attractive to be sure. Netflix trading at a forward PE of 30.87 is the dominant streaming player and has demonstrated a capability to create its own content that people love to watch. It doesn't need to rely on any more studios to provide it with content. It can do it all on its own and it's demonstrated it can do it effectively and profitably and it's got a long runway to go. Management used to talk about reaching 500 million subscribers they're at less than 250 million so they've got a long way to go to capitalize completely on that streaming market alibaba group trading at a forward price to earnings of 7.573 known sometimes as the amazon of china it's trading at a fraction of the valuation of amazon which is also on this list and the company suffering from geopolitical risks notably the relationship of the chinese government with big business and that's why it's trading at a cheap cheap valuation but if those issues can remain at bay i think alibaba could do really well for investors uber technologies is a new one on my list a forward price to earnings of 32.77 Uber has surprised me throughout 2023 and 2022 as economies reopened. Both parts of its business, the food delivery and the ride segment, have thrived. I thought the food delivery segment would suffer meaningfully, but it hasn't. Consumers have opted to pay up for that convenience it offers. Uber has raised prices, cut promotional activity, demonstrated strong growth in cash flow from operations and profitability these were things i did not expect uber to achieve but it has done that and now it's made it into my top stocks to buy for 2024 i mentioned amazon trading at a forward price to earnings of 44 the company has invested significantly in its networks in 2020 2021 and now it's reaping the benefits from those investments reaching faster delivery times shortening distances to consumers and its aws segment continues to thrive e-commerce is expected to grow as a percentage of sales over the next two decades and amazon is the primary beneficiary of that trend and finally, Target trading at a forward price to earnings of 15.68. Target was troubled with inventory misbalances in 2023. That issue has been mostly corrected. Target has the best in class same day delivery services, which I think consumers have grown to love. And they've demonstrated that with their purchasing behavior. The buy online pickup in store buy online pickup in the target parking lot that's been incredibly popular and if we've learned anything about consumers in 2023 and the last couple of years is that they are willing to pay up for convenience and target stands to benefit from that trend so there you have it my top 24 stocks to buy in 2024. And just like in 2023, I will provide updates to these recommendations, let you know when I take one off, add another stock in, tell you to sell or buy. All of that I will continue to update throughout the year. So make sure to subscribe so you'll stay tuned for all of those updates. If you liked the video you just saw and you wanna see more just like it, please subscribe to the channel. I can't keep this channel free without the support of viewers like you. And if you're already subscribed, thank you, and I appreciate your support.